Okay. Hi, I'm Alexandra Rutan and I'm a Peace Corps volunteer in a little town called Sheno in the region of Aromia in Ethiopia. I teach ninth grade English at the high school that's right across the street. It's a three minute walk. I can hear the bell ring as I'm locking up my house and make it in time for my class to start. So this is my street. This way is towards town. This way, where all the children are looking. <laughs> <laughs> is towards my school and this is my gate this is where I live um, so yes let's come inside Ta -da! <laughs> so this house here is my compound family's house my landlords um, these tires stacked right here is where the maid does the laundry. There's also blood right there from some slaughtering. It's really disgusting. Um, we can walk over here. This is where I hang my clothes. Um, this is where I burn my trash. I don't know if you can hear. This is where I burn my trash. A sink if there is water and there is water. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Back here is my shins bed or where I go to the bathroom. Although I don't know how well you can see it. But there it is. It's a good old time. Yep. Going pee in a hole. Yep. <laughs> so burning stove where they cook when there's no power. Um, they also weigh a lot of butter in here that they sell and other things. But I can always smell the smoke in my house because I live right next door. This is the back door to my compound's, compound family's house. Um, here's another water source. Ooh-ha! Water. There's a, a melted cat. <laughs> uh, that's Poppy. He's really cute. This is my land family's second family room. Uh, they are Muslim, so they have communal areas. It's really cool. And then through here is their main kitchen. I don't know how well you can see it. Yeah, it's kind of dark. Um, and then around here, uh, here's some trash that can't be burnt, and then garden wood storage and flowers. Yep. So now I'll show you my house. So this is my front door. You have to be very careful to not hit your head. I hit it all the time. Step down into it. This is my kitchen that my wonderful friend Heather helped me create before it was disgusting. <laughs> Storage room of trash. Um, but here is my water filter. I get all my water from here. I have a little homemade sink here. Uh, this is my inside laundry line when it is raining or where I also dry my underwear because it's too embarrassing to have out there. Um, this is more water storage because I'm out of water a lot. This is where I do laundry with these two buckets. I also bathe with this. <laughs> and just so you know, for all you shower bath lovers, this is all the water I could ever need for a shower. It's actually more than what I need. Um, I have a lot of food storage here. Usually I'm running low on veggies because I'm about to go to America. But usually I have like garlic, potatoes, other things. This is my stove. Um, all my spices are underneath 
and things I commonly cook with. Uh, before I used to crouch like this on the ground and cook, but now I have a little table. Okay, so then this is my bedroom, but this is my bed and some love from home. Um, it's not very organized. I plan to bring a lot of this home with me <laughs> uh, in a week. And a lot of times I have cats that run in my ceiling. Um, so I always have company. And also where these big holes are in my ceiling, this is where my ginormous spiders come out to play. Um, so yeah, always battling that fear. <laughs> This is not, in fact, a retro refrigerator. I do not have electricity for that. But it's actually my clothes storage. Um, it's not very organized. Again, I brought way too many clothes to country. I do not wear half of these. And my mother is sweet enough to send me like five shirts in every care package. So more than enough clothes. Do not send me any more clothes. This is my <laughs> school supply area. Um, and books and coloring utensils. I was lucky enough to think it was a good idea to bring this many Sharpies <laughs> to country, five pounds worth. I also keep getting sent Sharpies. Again, my mother is doing. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, those will be going home with me, or at least half of them, because I don't need that many. <laughs> Uh, for six more months of service. Um, I also have all of my uh, teaching aids from last year and this year. I try to reuse them, but now first semester is already finished, so I should probably start burning them. This is my everything table. <laughs> um, I have all my medicines and toiletries in here. Um, I have hair stuff here, and this is my medical kit. Um, it's my laptop, of course, but I always have it plugged in because you never know when the power is going to turn on, and my laptop is my life source, so I always want to, it to have power. Um, this is my teaching coat. Uh, I have to wear it every day at school. It needs a good washing. And this is my little Pippin. Um, now that the real Pippin is gone, he's a, the only substitute I have. Um, and yes, I don't usually keep my window shade open because everyone in the compound can look in at me while I'm on my bed. Um, but when the weather is nice, I can open up the window and enjoy there's a spider there. Um, <laughs> uh, enjoy the breeze. But usually it's too cold for that, so I don't usually do that. And then here's a bunch of letters from home. I do keep them all, I promise. And this is more of them. I just, I can't keep up with the storage of my letters. Um, yeah. And this is my wonderful cross-off calendar. Uh, you see, next Tuesday, USA. I'm a little excited. Um, but yes, this is my house. Welcome.